Yes, guys, good morning. It is January 28th out here, 2023. It is Saturday morning, and it is 7.35 a.m. Yes, guys, we have a ton of freaking work to do today, and we are short-staffed. We are short-staffed. My partner is down. He's down, but he's not out for the count. I know there is no three-knockdown rule here. He is down. He is in pain. And, um... <laughs> Man, we pray for him. He's got a bad back. Big thumbs up to you, you know. I wish you a speedy recovery. And uh, guys, today we have a ton of work to do today. A ton of work to do today. We are heading back to that house over in the Bronx area. A gentleman who renovated, who is in the process of renovating, gut renovating his whole space. And today we are roughing in the first floor bathroom. Today we're going to be cutting into this foreign stack, putting in a 4x2 cross Y to pick up the bathroom upstairs for the future when that gets renovated. But right now we are going to be working on the first floor bathroom that's going to get completely renovated. And we're doing it all in 4 inch and 2 inch PVC. Uh, he originally wanted cast iron. He wanted to save some bacon, some moolah. So we pitched him to go with PVC. PVC is good, but, you know, it's loud, it's noisy. You hear it when you flush a toilet. You sure damn hear it. Cast iron is, um, you know, nice and heavy and dense. You know, you don't hear it as much. But we're running it all in 4-inch and 2-inch PVC. Guys, we're gonna be running some half inch water lines to pick up the sink, kitchen sink, the vanity, putting in a new shower body, doing the roughing for the toilet. We're putting in some some nice, oh, some nice half inch Pro Press long stem ball valves. We're gonna be using them as tile stops made by Raven. Check them out. I am going to get you some content on them. Really nice ball valves, long stem ball valves that we use for uh, tile stops here that's going under the vanity that's gonna be supplying, that's gonna be isolating the kitchen that's right on that, right behind that wet wall. And it's gonna be supplying the whole bathroom. So those of you who don't know what tile stops are, they are isolation valves that control a specific space in a building or residential home. They control a specific space of shutting off, isolating domestic water. So we got a lot of work to do today and um, we are short staffed. So if you guys want to work or are interested in working, give me a call. We are hiring 646-423-2174. Guys, on that note, hope everybody has a blessed morning out here beautiful morning there's not a cloud in the sky and look at the beautiful manhattan skyline right there that's manhattan right there beautiful we're just crossing the whitestone bridge right now and uh we're gonna get to it so guys give this video a thumbs up and uh we are gonna show you how it gets done today here we go all right guys here's this five by seven standard bathroom that we're roughing in here he's got the shower pan right here that he converted it was originally a tub here He's got the four inch water closet here. We are going to turn this into three inch. We're gonna cut this ferrule right here. We're gonna move this toilet over about four inches. He's got an 18 inch vanity going right here. A floating vanity here, 18 inches with one pull out drawer. This is the end of our bathroom right here. Guys, this is our four by two cross Y here. A four by two cross Y that's coming out today. We're gonna snap this stack. We're gonna replace this hub we're gonna snap it here and we're gonna snap up there we're gonna replace it with a nice four by two pvc cross y that's what we're putting in right now we're gonna get our four inch riser clamp we're gonna get our four inch riser clamp right here so this stack don't fall when we snap it but you know what i don't think this thing is going anywhere to be honest with you but it's always good to be safe rather than sorry so let's get our four inch riser clamp right there we're gonna cut it here snap it and snap it up there and uh we got our kitchen waste that we got to do we got to tie in our vent 
and our two inch waist. We got our waist for our shower stall right here. We got our, no, we got our vent for our shower stall. We got our vent for our water closet right here. And that's all gonna get tied in up there. So um, we got a lot of work here today. And uh, we're gonna relocate this gas line also. Move it over to where the stove is going. But right now we are roughing in this bathroom. All right, guys, right now, we're gonna put our four inch riser clamp on. And today we are down a man. So, you know what? This isn't my first bathroom that I roughed in myself, but you know what? It's nice to have help. So I don't have to think as much. The luxury of not having to think as much man that is a dime a dozen and that is hard to find guys when you find good help you know that can you can take the step back and not have to think so much johnny what do you got you got it yeah where'd you get it from wayfair uh, I think over amazon right. over stuff. guys so the gentleman just brought the new <clears throat> shower body that's going in from overstock I forget what finish he got, but I think he got like a matte. Yeah, he did like a matte black finish. This body right here. I like this body. Look at this, because it comes with a built-in level. Is that awesome or what? This is all three-quarter. Okay. It comes with a built-in level. Isn't that awesome? Kohler, American Standard, Delta. Step your game up, man. That is a nice touch right there. I like that. We're going to put this back. Guys, when you're roughing in a bathroom, a kitchen, whatever it is, do the waste first. Do the waste first. Do the waters next because the waters you can, you know, the waters you can work around anything, you know. All the waste and everything in the venting has got to be pitched properly. So right now we are putting our four-inch riser clamp in. We're going to get our snap cutter. I'm going to show you how to snap this stack. Here we go. All right, guys, we got our, our snap cutter in place right here. And we're going to make our first snap of the day. Guys, this is live content right here. How many of you think this line is going to snap, crumble, beautiful, clean cut? Guys, let me know your thoughts. But right now, we're going to snap it. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, guys. No turning back right here. Here we go. She split. She split. And that's a nice clean cut. That is a beautiful clean cut. She split. Let's see. Beautiful, beautiful cut. Guys, I don't have any help out here, so I'm gonna cut little three foot pieces out here and take them out in sections. So we're gonna change this whole stack. We're gonna put all four inch PVC. So let's get to it. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, guys, we got our first cut down there. You wanna set your cutter again. Guys, make sure you don't jam up this rigid snap cutter, okay? Make sure you don't jam it up. You gotta tighten it all the way. Guys, we're going to make another cut, okay? We're going to cut a three-foot piece out. This thing should slide right out. There we go. This is live stuff, guys. She's crushing. She's snapping. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. Let's see what she looks like. Let's see what she smells like too. Let's see. Beautiful. Beautiful. You guys are gonna leave that in place. Let me get a lump hammer. Take this piece right out. Yeah, 
added some corn in there. Yeah, look at the corn in there. Guys, look at the corn in there. See the corn right in there? Look at the corn. <laughs> right in your corn hole. Guys, let's throw this out. Put that aside. Guys, don't forget your riser clamp on the bottom. You don't want this stack to drop. Make sure you got a riser clamp here, okay? You don't want this stack to, to drop. You got a little wet up here because the gentleman used the bathroom up there. Guys, we're going to get another cut right up there. And we're going to put our 4 by 2 cross Y to pick up the future bathroom up there. So let's make one more cut. And this cut is going to be rough because it's heavy. And I don't want it to fall. So I'm going to get some rope. I'm going to tie it up. And we're going to gently lower it. Here we go. Yes, guys, I know you're going to, you're going to give me some flack on this. I'm using an extension cord, an old extension cord, and some rope. I don't have my rope or my um, or my straps on the truck. They're in the garage, so I'm using an extension cord. I've done it before. Don't worry. Don't be alarmed. Right now, we're gonna set our cutter up there. And we're gonna snap, guys. This is live stuff. This is live stuff right here. We're giving you live. Some live raw footage right here. You want to set your snap cutter. Okay. You want to set it nice and straight. You want a nice cut. Make sure you got enough meat for a coupling. You want to tighten this guy right here. Bring that to cut. And that's what it is. Oh. Let's get it up a little straighter. A little straighter, baby. Right there. Just like that. All right. Make sure she's nice and straight. And guys, we're going to snap it. We are going to snap it. Here we go. that out of the way you guys we're going to hold our extension cord also while we do it okay and we're going to lower this thing down nice and easy get a couple wraps around your arm the extension cord here we go there it is just like that just like that guys and we're going to drop it Nice and easy, just like that, like a gentleman, like a gentleman. Just like that. You don't want to, you don't want to pinch your extension cord. That's what it is. Guys, you want to see the corn? Let me show you the corn. Let me show you the corn. There's the corn right there. You see the corn? <laughs> take off our makeshift of a rope with our extension cord. Let's put this orange waist to bed. Guys, we're going to do all new orange PVC. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's what we got done so far. Guys, make sure you use the CP44 couplings when you're transitioning from cast iron to schedule 40 PVC. Guys, we got our four by two cross Y to pick up the sink upstairs in the future and to pick up the new shower stall up there. This tub waste is getting removed. He is doing away with the tub. We're putting a nice shower stall in there, but right now we got the stack back intact. And right now we're gonna work on the waste for the floating vanity here. I'm gonna move the toilet bowl over. You know what? First, I'm gonna lay out where my closet, my water closet's going. I'm moving it over maybe three inches and then i'm going to work on the vanity but that's where the shower stall is and after that we're going to do our water lines this existing is coming from the other navian this is the domestic hot feeding the third floor so each boiler is on you know 
its own dedicated floor. So each tenant can pay for their own gas bill and whatnot. So we're gonna put our half inch press tile stops here that pick up the bathroom and the kitchen sink that's over there. So let's um, let's move this toilet bowl over. Let's get this piece out of the way and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys. So right now we are just mapping out where the vanity is starting and where it's finishing. So just spoke to the contractor. He is using 5-8 sheetrock plus tile. This is the right side of the rough wall here. So we're going one inch off of this. So he's got a... 18 inch floating vanity so if you go from there half of 18 is 9 and we are going to go 10 off of there which is our mark right there because we got to account for the finished wall so we're going to go 10 right there is the floating vanity that's the center of our waist right there guys and half of that we're going to go 9 that's nine inches right there. That's the end of our vanity right here. We also marked it right here. And this is the space we are working with for our toilet. Guys, minimum code, you need 30 inches for a toilet. 15 inches from left to center of the flange and another 15 from right to center of the closet flange. So you need a minimum of 30 inches. It's not being inspected, nothing, you know, you can give or take a couple inches, but let's see what we have here. We got our curb, you know, you got tile, you got stone going on this curb. So right here we have, let's call it 32. Nah, let's call it 31 and a half. You know what? No, with the stone and everything, let's call it, let's call it 31. So we're almost there, guys. We got more than enough space. So we're going to put this toilet at the standard 15 inches. We're going to move this over maybe three inches. It's probably going to be like 16 after I roll this 45, after I cut this. Guys, we are going to leave the ferrule in here and we're gonna cut right before this wipe joint. There is a brass ferrule right here. We are gonna cut this and we are gonna adapt with our four x three PVC bushing and our CK coupling, guys. We're gonna transition from copper to PVC. So we're gonna cut this out and I was going to say we're going to eat good today, but the lead isn't worth much. So let's cut this lead out. And, uh, man, our 16 is going to be right on this freaking beam right here. Right on this beam. So I don't know what they want to do, but you see they notched it right there. And we're going to go with a 12-inch rough toilet. We got one inch coming on the wall here. So our finish rough is going to be... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this beam here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this beam. All right. I got to see. All right, let's cut this lead out, and let's get this out of the way, and then we'll work it to wherever we want to be. Here we go. All right, guys, so we cut the 4-inch lead bend out. And, guys, right now, I just like to file the ferrule, so I want to get any of that excess lead. You see this piece right here? That coupling is not going to sit right on here, so... That coupling is definitely not going to sit right. And we are just filing. Because we don't want any leaks, guys. So just make sure you do the right job. And you get this piece of lead out right here. This piece of lead that's hindering us. So we can get the coupling on nice. But you see how they notch this beam? This one right here. We're going to have to do the same thing right over here. we got to move this bowl over like four inches. So let's clean this up. And um, it's easier to roll it with 3-inch. So we're using all 3-inch. We're going to reduce. And uh, yes, you can rough in a toilet with 3-inch. You can rough up to two bowls on a 3-inch sewer. So this is more than enough. We're going to get this piece out. All right, guys, let's clean this ferrule. And let's, uh, let's rough in this water closet. Here we go. All right, guys, let me show you what we got done so far. We got our... 3-inch street 45 going into a 3-inch street elbow. Guys, that's going to be our waste for our toilet right here. But I am going to remove this PVC bushing here because the angle is kind of messed up. And I don't want to chop any more of this beam that I already did. So let's, uh, let's remove this PVC coupling and we're going to glue it in place and then put it in afterwards. So... 
take my PVC bushing, take my bushing here. Let's get our glue and primer right across this way here. We got our primer. And we got our glue. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Because the angle is kind of messed up. So we're going to glue our... glue our Shree 45 into our bushing and then we'll be able to roll it any which way that we need to but I don't want to chop any more of this beam and guys it's inevitable guys you gotta you know most of the times I'm gonna say 60% of the times the toilet bowl is landing on a freaking beam and I don't know if the engineer does that on purpose but a new construction you know sometimes that's what happens so Put our 45 in our bushing, just like that, all the way in, beautiful, and then we'll be able to roll it any which way we need it to go. We want to make sure that that 45 is in that bushing right there. Guys, we're going to do that. We're going to do the waist for the floating vanity. We're going to tie in all the vents. Guys, before a vent can turn horizontally, you gotta be 42 inches above the floor. And it's usually right below the window height. So I'm gonna show you that when we tie the vents in. But now we're gonna put our closet bin on. And she's gonna fit like a glove. And I'm gonna show you right where our mark is. Let me show you. Hey guys. That's where she's going. I had to chop this little beam. that had a little two by three going across here, but that's where our mark is. 15 inches on center. And we got 13 inches. Some guys like to rough their toilets in. If you got a 12 inch rough bowl, you do 13. I like to do like 12 and a half, but there's 12 and a half. I don't like a big gap behind my toilet there. Some guys do another half inch, do it 13, but I'm at 12 and a half. And that's where I like it. So we are going to tighten up that coupling and we'll be done with the rough for the closet, water closet. Next, we're going to work on the floating vanity and uh, we're going to do the waters, put our tile stops in. And uh, yeah, that's it. So guys, this is how you rough in a standard five by seven bathroom. All right, guys, this is what we got done for the floating vanity here. Two by inch and a half TY. We're gonna stub out with a piece of inch and a half PVC. Guys, we're gonna pick up our vent for the vanity right here. We're gonna pick this up. We're gonna get rid of all this galvanized here. That is the inch and a half waist for the sink upstairs. It's gonna get tied into there, but not now. Um, so right now we are going to be running the vent up after that, we are going to shut the water down. We're going to start doing our waters, guys. In the meantime, let's do our 2-inch vent for up there. Let's pick up our 2-inch vent for our toilet right there. And let's pick up our 2-inch vent for our shower stall. Guys, we're going to run that all the way up there. So a lot of 2-inch. Guys, when you're roughing in the bathroom, do all 2-inch. Never use inch and a half. You can, but I mean... All two inch, even for the venting, guys. Two inch, bigger, bigger the better. Hmm, <laughs> that's what she said, guys. Let's um, let's do this vent up here and uh, let's just continue. But that's what we got done so far. We're gonna cut these out right now anyway, so get these out of the way. Uh, all right, guys, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys, that's what we got so far. We got the two inch vent for the toilet bowl right there. Comes up, guys. Make sure you put some nice pitch. All right, vents are going up, waste is going down. Guys, we got our two inch vent for our shower stall. We are picking up our two inch TY for our kitchen sink. That's going center of the window right there. I am going to, guys, please drill. Drill through these studs. Don't notch them, please. You don't want to ruin the integrity of these beautiful two by fours that cost, I don't know, 11 bucks today for a two by four, 950, something like that. Guys, invest in a right angle drill with some good hole saws. 
We are going to pick up our vent right here. Two inch vent, guys, two inch vent going up through the roof, okay? But make sure you put nice pitch on this vent, guys, going up, okay? So right now we are gonna drill our holes. We got our marks right here, boom and boom. Guys, quarter inch per foot per pitch on two inch pipe, okay? Let's get it done right, here we go. Guys, invest in a right angle drill, okay? Right angle drill. Make sure you got that chuck nice and tight, okay? This freaking right angle drill will break your freaking wrist if you don't know how to use it. Guys, let's get our first hole going right here, okay? There it is, right there, here we go. Tool. You see that? You see that right there? That'll snap your wrist. Guys, let the tool do all the work. You don't have to push with the right angle drill. There's a ton of torque on this machine here. beautiful we're gonna drill one more hole we're gonna get our piece going across and the kitchen sink will be done next we're gonna do the waters guys here we go all right guys so that's what i got done here we got our two inch waist right there we came up with our two inch vent guys i am not gonna tie this in yet because they still have to plug this hole up so i'm gonna leave this just like that for them that's more than enough room for them to plug up that hole but there's our vent we are going to extend this go up and tie into our vent that's behind that two by four that two inch waist picks up the kitchen sink that's dumping into this four by two right here so we're gonna cut all that out sorry i'm gonna have to get rid of that two by four i don't know what it's doing but i'm gonna have to get rid of it because the two inch vent that's gonna tie into here is up there so uh that's what we got going and then guys we're gonna start the waters all waters shower body hot and cold for the sink and get it done so all right let's tie this in whatever pvc we got left how much we got left all right not much all right let's do it here we go all right guys right now i got the main off and we're gonna cut these out i'm gonna spin it out of this t here go male adapter straight into our tile stops we got our raven long stem ball valves that we're using as tile stops guys these are very nice one's gonna go right here the other one's gonna go right there. We're gonna pick up the sink here, floating vanity. We're gonna rough out for the toilet, the shower body, and then pick up the kitchen sink over there. So we got the water off. And uh, we're gonna make two cuts. Boom and boom. And uh, start roughing in. Here we go. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're roughing in the waters now. We got our half inch long stem towel stops that we're using but guys i want to show you these insulated kindorf clips man they are great insulated kindorf clips this fits snug right on that half inch copper right there it's not going anywhere we're going to do the other side right here but guys if you don't know what these are i haven't used them insulated kindorf clips they are great all right guys so that's what i got so far we got two nice straps right here i'm going to get another strap for this I got my half inch cold roughed in for the water closet. I got the homeowner just came up here. He's gonna be kind enough to turn the water on for us. I got my tile stops off right here. He's gonna turn it on right now. And we're just gonna test for leaks. Let's see. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. We're gonna turn it on right now. We're just gonna test. Make sure we pressed everything. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I got this cracked a little bit. Let's see. <clears throat> I got to bring this three quarter up too, all the way up to the top floor. Here we go. It's coming right now. Cold and we got hot. Don't spit at me. Here it comes right now. Let's get a little wet. Let's get a little wet right now. 
<clears throat> All in a day's work, guys. All in a day's work out here. Here it comes right now. Make sure I shut this. Here it comes. Let's wait for it to fill up. I'll put a hose bib here. I'm going to test everything after. What's this guy doing? Johnny! Yeah, open it up. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. He's farting around though. All right, let's let's uh, let's get a strap up here. So I wanna strap this nice and tight. We got some more knee brackets, a piece of Kindorf. We're gonna go probably Probably right here. Probably gonna go right here and come up with a piece of Kindorf straight up. What is this guy doing? Okay, we got water here. I don't know what he's doing. All right. All right, let's do that. Let's strap this and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys. So we are in the shower stall now and we are just mounting our shower body here with three outlets, guys. We got the cold on the right, hot on the left. We got an outlet mix that's going to the rain shower head. We got an outlet mix that's going to the traditional shower head coming out of that side wall right there. And we got another outlet mix going to our handheld. So we just got our blocking right here, our bracing ain't going nowhere. And we are just gonna mount our shower valve center. First, we're gonna get our center and we're gonna mount it right here. Guys, check the depth though. Check the depth, read the instructions, guys. This wall is coming out inch and a quarter. So they give you some play to cut this trim right here. So. You know, don't fool around and, uh, you know, read the instructions. The tile surface is best kept in the blue line area. See, there you go. So we're coming out an inch, inch and a quarter from this wall. So an inch and a quarter there is going to be perfect, right, for us. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we got the body mounted. Right now, we're going to rough in the cold right here on the right side. Right here, cold, marked cold, half inch hot. Mix, mix, mix. So let's get some male adapters made up. Teflon, screw them in here, and uh, let's get to it, guys. We are still at it here. Another five by seven bathroom getting done for this lovely customer of mine, lovely. Guys, I'm really digging the shower body. You know, it's a no-name brand, but look at the little built-in level that it gives you. That's cool, guys. Come on, Kohler, American Standard, step your game up, man. I really like that. I've seen that a couple times, but not often. Very nice. Pretty solid. All right, let's get to it, and uh, let's make up some male adapters, and uh, start roughing this thing in. Here we go. All right, so guys, we got the shower body mounted. We have the cold. We have the hot. We have the handheld spray right here that we capped. We have the shower head. Yes, I have to put a brace here. We have the rain head coming down, center of the shower pan. Perfect. Beautiful. Guys, we... We come up here, well, we start from here. We got our tile stops here. We are going to pressurize these lines now. Uh, we still have to do the gas. We're going to do the gas because the gas is off now. So I got to give them some gas before I leave. I have to cap that toilet right there. But guys, we have our half inch lines coming this way along this exterior wall that's all going to get insulated. We have a half inch hose bib for the hot. We plug the cold. I got a two inch gym cap here. I'm going to test everything first. There's my gym cap. Um, but guys, this is all roughed in. I made a nice brace here with some three quarter Kindorf. A nice L bracket. Nice and solid. Not going anywhere. But guys, that's how you rough in a typical five by seven bathroom with a kitchen sink rough in right here. Guys, I think it came out great. This we're not going to tie in yet because they still got to patch this hole up. So um yeah when we come back when we're ready we're gonna tie in upstairs when that's demoed and that also so guys i think it came out great right now we're gonna knock out the gas and uh we just measured for our 30 inch stove right here that's going right here so um probably gonna notch this i'm gonna notch this i'm gonna notch this and uh see what we can do here here we go all right guys and there you have it that's how you rough in a five by seven typical typical five by seven bathroom guys um all new waste all new vent 
and all new domestic water lines. Um, we clearly put in the hard work on, on this one. We are not done yet completely. We will be back another day um, next week to finish up the rest of the roughing. But, I mean, guys, today was a productive day. I mean, I couldn't be happier with how it came out. Uh, we still have to continue to gas. Um, but water's onto the building. Gas is onto the building. And... This customer is super happy. So, guys, if I'm in your service area, the five borrowers, including Long Island, and if you need an honest plumber, give me a call. 646-423-2174. Guys, on that note, I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. And like always, let's do yours next.